You're working double duty though tonight. Yep. Last night, we kicked yep. things off officially for the high school football season. You went to High Sea Park as Galleon took on Winford last year at Winford. A really close game. You saw that live and free on the OH Report one year ago. But uh, a little bit different this year as Galleon. Slightly. Same result in the win and loss column, but Galleon. Uh, a little bit of a bigger margin. We had a running clock. <laughs> that's that's more than a little bit of a win yeah. margin then, right? So let's let's see how it happened. Um, it's Thursday night football at High Sea Park. Galleon is taking on Winford. Again, 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah. We're ready. Jacob Chambers kicked off the night with a 32-yard touchdown catch from Aiden Schmidt, making the score 7-0 to zero Galleon. Yeah, he nearly missed it, but he got it. Got it done. On the kickoff return, Winford then, I don't want to spoil it, they fumbled the ball. Oh, no, coughed it up. <laughs> yep, and this gives the Tigers a quick score via a nine-yard rushing touchdown from Braxton Prosser. The score Prosser's going to be good this yep, year, too, in the MOAC. To yep, and then the Royals actually struck back with a 33-yard touchdown caught by Anthony Evan, thrown by Braden Campbell. It's now 13-7 to with less than a minute in the first, and now Prosser then found Chambers for his second score of the night for a 24-yard touchdown. Just outran everybody. Yes, 27 now. The Tigers then started to pull away, starting with Braxton Prosser's 11-yard rush, making it 27-7 in the second. The Campbell-Prosser duo, they struck again with a 27-yard <laughs> connection, making the score at the half 34-7. But just watch. I mean, no one can catch this, catch this guy. Yeah, guys are dodging left and right. They can't catch him, and he trots in. That's there he goes. <laughs> Slippery yep. guys, aren't they? Yep, and starting off the third, Galleon Sam Evans ran 23 yards into the end zone, putting Galleon up 41-7. And with less than a minute left, this, this, sorry, <laughs> is Kale Early. He rushed 30 yards into the end zone. And they go for two, and they get it. The score is 49-7, to going into the fourth. And finally, Winford did have something to build on for next week as Anthony Evans ran in from four yards out for their final score of 49-13, to Galleon winning. So, Galleon, they're good. They're we had good. we had our uh, media show two nights ago at WQEL, and a lot of media pundits said that Galleon, they have a chance if they start off strong, they did, they did on Thursday night, that they could be one of those teams at the top of the MOAC. Now for Winford, though, is there anything they can build on from that week one moving to week two? Because it's early enough that they can bounce back. When they throw the ball, they catch it. Mm -hmm. So they just need to really work on that. And if they can capitalize off of throwing the ball and catching it, then their run game, I think they could have some success. But and if they can contain these runners, yes. get some tackles, it yeah. probably helps. Yeah, Galleon's right? hard because they have so many just fast. They have athletes. Yes. Yeah. And that's what you so. have a guy. That's why last year they started off, I think, 5 or 6-0 and oh, until they ran into an Ontario and a Shelby. And they returned. They return some pieces. They do lose Gabe Ivy, but they have yeah. Prosser and company to do uh, some things like that. So it's going to be yep. interesting to see both of these teams as we move forward. Definitely, yeah.